Hey, welcome back to the uh, Minesweeper Project Milestones. So we've reached the last milestone, which is called Final Project Presentation. So let's look at the details for Milestone 7. So really, there's no new features to be added to the game. Instead, we want to make sure that any of the challenges that you encountered or any issues that didn't work in your previous milestones, that they get fixed now. And so when you're done, you'll have a completely working copy. So for this milestone, I'd like you to create a video that demonstrates all the features. So make sure that the game works, and then show through the code of how it works. Go look for any problems that you encountered and how you solved them. So probably the most difficult part of the game, at least in my point of view, was trying to figure out how to make this recursion work. And so go show me your recursion algorithm for flood fill and explain how it works. And then uh, also explain any, anything that you learned along the way that was useful to you and what you think you could use in uh, future applications. So just as closing remarks here for the project, this should be saved. Don't lose this project. We've designed this class so that the uh, following class will be um, the course that will be taught with a .NET framework using C Sharp. And the .NET framework works with web-based applications. And so you'll take Minesweeper, use the core logic, and build a web-based version instead of a Windows Forms version. Because really, when it comes to real-world uh, applications, how many people still roll out a Windows 32 app? Not many. Almost everybody's working either on mobile apps or the web. And so that's where we're going next. In your next course with C Sharp, we'll work with a web application that runs Minesweeper.